Let's show it. In Chef. Chicago, meeting 182 no. of all time between the Packers and Bears. First time ever. Yeah. It is for Rock. the NFC like Championship. How hot was Aaron Rodgers entering this game? As hot as he was in Atlanta, as hot as he was at the end of the game in Philadelphia. Finds Greg Jennings there on the opening possession. First play from scrimmage. Next play finds Greg Jennings again. Two plays just like that. Yeah. Play action passes. Get the safety up there. Shoot it in there to Jennings. Two plays off in cover two. They had to get out of that cover two. It's two plays of 20 yards and more to the plus side of the field. And then another 20-yard gain. 22 to be exact to Jordy Nelson. Down to the Bears two. And two plays later, Peter, I'll take B.J. Rodgers. For the is, block. Is that the fridge? Oh no, that's BJ Raji. The, the freezer. Yeah, the freezer. The it, freezer. And, oh, it was oh, just oh, a daisy. Just a daisy. Because it call. was a bootleg to Aaron Rodgers. Seven plays, four minutes, ten seconds. Aaron Rodgers runs it in. And the Packers take the quick 7-0 lead. But that's still your score. Three Packers possessions later in the second quarter. Dumps it over oh, the three, middle on second and third team. Brandon Jackson running a daylight right around Brian Erlacher right there. Next Great play, move. James Starks had a nice game as well. The rookie out of Buffalo with a first down gain to the Bears 19. Two plays later, first down. It's the first career touchdown for James Starks, and it comes in the five. NFC Championship. Look like a rookie to me. 14 nothing Packers. Buffalo. What a wow. find from Buffalo this young man is. He has totally balanced out the offense, and what he has done right here is give the Packers a two-score lead in the field. Great the energy out of the building. How would Jay Cutler respond? He throws it, and he finds a wide-open Johnny Knox. 24-yard gain right, right in the Packers' territory. Right. Knox on that corner route, right? Three plays later, Cutler to your... Devin Hester. Oh. Oh, missed that throw right there. You got to throw the ball towards the cone and a little more flat. On the line. Bears forced to punt. Packers next possession. Rodgers is out the game. This he is what is he does better than like anybody. That he could throw on the run. He could run the football. Pinpoint accuracy. The guy's just like that. 25-yard gain. Three plays later. Third and short. Looks like two down territory. But when Starks is stopped short with the way that the Packers were playing defense, why not kick it? And that's what Mike McCarthy does. Punts it back to the Bears. Ensuing possession for the Bears. Matt Forte. Recovers the fumble as Cutler is swarmed under by the Packers defense, but because there's less than two minutes to go and they have the only person who could recover it in advance is Cutler, they blow the play dead. Packers get the ball back. A rare oh. pick as Rodgers' pass for driver goes off of driver's feet and right to Lance Briggs. Horrible yeah. pass and horrible effort. Got the ball a little bit behind him, and it would have been a tough catch for driver. But just when you thought there could be some wind at Jay Cutler's back, he gives it right back to the Packers. Oh, what Sam a, Shields, what a, nice pick. What a See, from the you might be he is, but that was a play little receiver. You got to put that ball outside, outside Way where outside. only the receiver or the sideline has the chance to get it. Packers lead 14 nothing. Third quarter, you saw Cutler. He left the field with 30 ticks to go in the first half to go in the locker room, and it gave us some indication, especially when you started riding the stationary bike on the sideline that there could be something wrong with his left knee the trainers take a look at it Cutler comes out to start the second half on third and fourth thrown off of his back foot it's incomplete and you know what Cutler would walk off the field limping off the field he would not return Aaron Rodgers for the Packers meanwhile throws it out to James Jones that's incomplete because it was old in Tim the Jennings grabbed him. Oh, yeah, he did, he did, he did, he did. Three plays later, third and goal. Brian Erlacher with a big pick for the Bears just when you thought it was all over and Rodgers was winging it all over the lot. Here comes Erlacher with a big play by Rodgers to stop Great Erlacher play. from scoring because he had all sorts of wide open green grass in front of him or whatever color the grass was. But Cutler doesn't come out. It's the backup Todd Collins who comes out, and Scared he looked death. rusty as the Tin Man in The Wizard of Oz. That's I mean, a good one, Rich. It was, Rich, that's a good one. He was all for four. All for four, Todd Collins was, and nothing offensively was going to happen with him there and Cutler standing there. And third and 15 on the next set of downs, this was the uh, end of the day for Todd Collins. They call it a wrap.
Yeah, it wasn't an interception. The ball did hit the ground here. But, you know, but it, but it was close enough, enough to get the gist. Enough to know. You got the gist. And so, <laughs> with 30 ticks left in the third quarter, Caleb Haney came into the game. Caleb and he's the third emergency quarterback, which means every other quarterback who's going to play the game cannot return. Done. So, the game, they start giving it off to Matt Forte, who makes an 11 yard Good play. idea. And two plays later. Holy Clint Longley, Batman! Where did this throw come from? Caleb Haney to Johnny Knox, everybody, on second and long. Great call, Rich. Clint Longley, exactly, man. He came in and threw this football and drove this team for touchdowns. Down to the one, Chester Taylor, one of the big offseason acquisitions for the Bears, pops it in the end zone, and it's a one touchdown game. Caleb Haley's He's fired, fired up and going right the state. Next Packers possession, 7-10. and ten. Rogers is hit as he throws deep, incomplete, back in the pocket. Julius Peppers had a little salt. Oh, that would be hit. That is oh, a helmet to helmet. Yeah, oh, that yeah, is. Yeah, but he's that'll, get up. that'll be one of those fines. That's a lot of man falling on you right there. And too. there's a man right there spitting blood, staying in the game. Rogers throwing incomplete to Donald oh. Driver, but here comes more laundry. Tim Jennings called for pass interference. Packers setting up shop. Right on the dust of the, uh, the uh, right on the midfield. Three plays later, Andrew Corliss on third and two had the ball go right through his mitts. Yeah, surprise right there, man. That would have been a tough catch, but you have to make that play right there. Jermichael Finley would have. Packers punt, get the ball yeah, back, so they get in good field position right again. Lickety split, third and one, though. Mm. Israel Adonage forces the quick throw, and the Packers go three and out. And you know, this Bears defense, Rogers after giving shot. up that first. Drive, they touchdown. settled down. They sure settled down. Except BJ oh. Rogers. BJ! That's how he ran the 40 at the goal line. He held it in. Look at the big uh, fella. Uh, That's how he ran the 40 at the combine. Look at the wheels. Look at the hands. Almost pulled a Leon Lett, though. Big fella. Look out. Big Don Beebe almost came in the form of Caleb Payne. Oh, the belt. Got the, He's got the championship the belt. belt. The pick six, it seemed to break the glass slipper of this Cinderella story, but back comes Caleb Haney, everybody. Give him credit, Rich. I mean, he stood up and he fought for this football team with probably no time to practice Third this week. 13 Not yard all. gain for Caleb Haney. Down two scores, flips it over the middle. Holding on is Earl Bennett. Seven yards gain, two plays later. Haney flips it up to Earl Bennett. Ball comes down to Earl Bennett. Suddenly Earl Bennett's running in the end Collins. zone. Nick Collins, oh, whoo, that's fake angle uh, from the safety. Dion, you cannot And the corner assumed the other would make the tackle, and neither one did. A one-score game again, third and long for Aaron Rodgers. Would the Bears get him off the field? They sure would. So now the Bears get the ball back with three and change to go at home with a chance with Caleb Haney of all quarterbacks. Caleb who? To come back by Mike McCarthy. Third and nine, Caleb Haney. Three plays later, Haney on third and ten. Caleb Haney, <laughs> just short of the first down. Bears have to go for it. After the two minute warning, up. Next play, give it to Chester Taylor. Move the chains. Way to run, Chester. They gotta find a way to implement this guy more in the game plan next year. Next play, next year. Caleb Haney takes it off to Matt Forte. And hey, now it's a 13 yard game. Minute 27 left. He steps out of bounds. Three plays later, third and three. They're end around him. Uh, if you're going to end around, will you use Devin Hester? Oh, oh boy. He, and he, he, also, he had the hot hand. There was also a timeout shortly before that, too. And then on fourth and four, Caleb. Hey. Hey. Well, we knew the glass wow. slipper was going to fall off sooner. Man. Sam Shields with his second pick of the game. Almost darn near put the ball in the turf. Mm -hmm. That finally wrapped it up as the Chicago Bears valiant K Caleb Haney third string effort to come back and tie this game up in the NFC Championship game falls just short and the Bears despite a super season and a two seed watch the Green Bay Packers come into Soldier Field and take home the Hallis Trophy.